This is KPIX 5 News. Tonight, it's a mystery no more. We have the goods on the Google barge off Treasure Island. It's a story you'll see only on KPIX 5. A source familiar with a highly secretive project confirms it's been ongoing for more than a year. Spawned in the so-called Google X division of the company, cloaked in secrecy even from most employees, but personally directed by Google's co-founder, Sergey Brin. A movable high-tech showroom for Google projects and products, reserved for only the most high-level VIPs and tech geeks. Essentially, a four-story portable building constructed of interchangeable 40-foot shipping containers that can be assembled and disassembled at will. It's designed to be placed on everything from barges to rail cars and reassembled anywhere in the world. It could be at a ski resort one morning and on the beach at Malibu days later. Sources tell us it's Google's multi-million dollar response to Apple's highly successful Apple Store concept, but with an invitation-only requirement. There is only one problem. The company was informed by the U.S. Coast Guard last summer that the structure, which is meant to contain three floors of dazzling showrooms and an upper party deck complete with lanais and bars, that it is, in essence, a floating vessel and subject to all applicable federal maritime regulations. Construction appears stalled at present while Google struggles to work within the Coast Guard's strict safety requirements. In the meantime, it sits moored in San Francisco Bay amid tight security. Now let's go to Treasure Island where Alan Martin has been pursuing the mystery behind the barge for days now. Alan? Yeah, Ken, we filed a Freedom of Information Act request with the Coast Guard concerning this barge here on Treasure Island. It's sitting back there in the water about where those floodlights are. In the meantime, documents released in Portland, Maine concerning a second sort of a sister ship to this barge. Those documents reveal that the Coast Guard there back in May met with a Google Glass executive to review construction plans. It is a lot of secrecy, but some are saying that the mystery for Google is the mastery. Just telling us what you might know or not. With every knock on the door. I don't know anything about it. I honestly don't. Every phone call and email. The no comments are stacking up the more we ask about Google's barge and four-story building at Treasure Island. Google itself isn't commenting. The mayor says he knows nothing about it. San Francisco Supervisor Jane Kim, who represents Treasure Island, had a spokesperson tell us she has no comment but might say something in a week. Then there's the U.S. Coast Guard. Late today, it issued a slightly longer statement than the day before, saying it has an obligation to protect sensitive proprietary information. And regarding barge BAL-0010 more to Treasure Island, Coast Guard personnel have been on board to conduct routine inspections and ensure compliance with safety, security, and environmental protection regulations. But surprisingly, they won't say whether the barge is in compliance. Now, the document we did receive today is this lease agreement that the owners of the barges have with the Treasure Island Development Authority. The company is called By and Large, and they have leased not only the pier, but the property I'm standing on, this building behind me, which is referred to as Hangar 3. It is a total of 727,000 square feet. They're paying about $80,000 a month, along with a $158,000 security deposit. Ken? Thank you, Alan. And one more thing, and this will make you smile. Google senior executives were worried that media, all of us, covering the opening of the new eastern span of the Bay Bridge in September would notice the unusual barge and start asking questions. But no reporter ever did a story on it until last week.